Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a vintage style badge design in Adobe Illustrator. You can create your own unique designs using the same tricks and techniques from this tutorial. So without any further ado, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator and get started. All right guys, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by creating a new document. So I'm going to click on create new for the document width and height. I'm going to leave it at 2000 by 2000 pixels. You can go with any document size that you wish for. Let's call this. Um, you can also jump into more settings and change the color mode to RGB and raster effect to high 300 PPI. And I can just click on create a new document. There we go. So first things first, let's select the text tool and type in our text. Obviously, let's increase the size a bit up. And for the font, I'm going to be using a Blender script font. You can um, use any font that you want or if you want to use the exact same font, I have mentioned the link in the description. Let's make this a bit bigger. And let's type in our text. It can be anything, your name, your company name. So let's assume that we have a fabrics company and the company name is authentic. There we go. Let's set the size up maybe around 200. And also I'm going to align this into the center. If you don't see this align tab pathfinder options, you can go into windows and you'll find everything right over here and just click on this. So it's going to pop up the basic uh, panel. So yeah, that is that. So we have our text. Let's right click and create outlines from our text. So now you can see we get this kind of merge path. So to merge them or to unite them, I will be using unite tool from the pathfinder there we go and then right click go into transform and let's share this up so set this to vertical and let's share this up by minus eight let's see the preview and yep that looks good let's hit okay now we can start building up our effect so to do that i'm going to select the text go into appearance and you can see we have this appearance different options that we can do right over in this section so the first things first i'm going to add a fill on this so for the fill color here i have a small color codes that i will be using for my design so you can use the same color codes if you want to so for the text i will be using a nice cream color so i'm just gonna open up the fill hit ctrl v to copy paste the color code hit ok so there we go there we have added the color to our text now i can select the text layer and let's add one more fill on this so i'm gonna add a fill to this and for the second fill color i'm gonna go with a different orange color that i have right over here hit ctrl c let's double click and hit ctrl v and hit ok now the reason you cannot see that fill is because it is in the it's behind our first fill so let's make sure your fill is selected go into effects go into distort and transform and let's add a transform on this and let's turn on this options that we have that is the transform patterns and scale strokes and effects and i'm going to move this by maybe 0.1 and make sure your preview is on so we can see what's happening and let's set the copy to 20s and let's see what we get so we get this a little bit of displacement as you can see at the back that is displacing our second fill that we have so let's maybe increase this a bit more i can go with 25 um yeah that is looking much better i'm gonna hit okay so you can see we get this really nice look now i can select the text again and this time i'm gonna add a stroke on this let's pull that stroke at the back of all the fill that we have so we have the stroke let's increase the stroke size to around seven maybe yep that looks good and it's looking weird at the moment because we need to add a nice transform effect on this as well so let's go and distort and transform add the transform and this time i'm going to set this to 0.2 that is the move to horizontal and vertical to 0.2 and let's turn on the preview let's add some copies maybe 50 let's see what we get and yep that is the look i am going for maybe i'll increase this to around 120 um yeah 
that is looking perfect hit ok and for the color i can just select this open that up and use a nice dark blue color that i want so i'm gonna hit ctrl c let's go right here hit ctrl v and hit ok and bam there we have our text ready to roll okay so we have the text let's create our background so i'm gonna go right over here hold click and hold to select the ellipse tool and let's hold alt and shift at the same time to create a perfect circle just like so now to put this at the back you can hold ctrl shift and open square bracket to put the layer or move the layer to the back we don't need any stroke on this so i'll set this to zero and let's also add a background so let's select the rectangular tool and let's click and let's add a height of 2000 width of 2000 and height of 2000 so this is going to be our background again i'm going to hold ctrl shift and open square bracket to put this at the back align it into the center and let's use the background color hit ctrl c ctrl v there we go i can also go into layers and you know let's double click all this bg and let's lock this layer up so we don't get messed up i'm going to increase the text size a bit so let's hold alt and shift and let's scale up the text just like so maybe a bit more okay so that is looking much better for the background color or the background circle i'm going to use the blue color for this so it control c control v all right so now you can see it looks like the text blends in with the circle and that is the look i want to go for make sure it's aligned into the center same with the circle all right so that is looking good let's select the circle hit ctrl c ctrl f to copy paste a new circle a new shape on the top of that i'm gonna make this a bit smaller i'm gonna hit i and pick with the background color let's select this hit ctrl c ctrl f to copy paste a new shape on the front let's make this a bit small again and this time i'm gonna use the orange color all right and finally i'm gonna hit ctrl c ctrl f again make this a bit small again and again use the blue color that we have right over here so we get this really nice look as you can see maybe i'll bring down the size of this blue a bit more oh just like that and that is looking pretty nice so now we can go ahead and add in our text so let's select this layer hit ctrl c ctrl f which is going to be our path so i can just bring that down a little bit select the text tool you can click and hold and select the type on part tool and then you can just go right over here and then click to add your text now obviously i'm going to bring down the size of the text way low to around let's go with something like eight pixels i think that is a way too much so let's increase the size with this much 36 pixels looks good and for the font i will be using a nexa um, bold font I can go into my characters let's make it all caps and now as you can see it's not at the position I want it to be basically first of all let's um, bring down the size a bit more to around 32 let's scale this down just like so maybe bring that down to around 24 yeah that looks much better and for the color I will be using the background color so it you can just pick with the color from background and i'll also increase the kerning a bit so let's set this to around 100 or maybe let's go with 200 okay perfect now i can you know simply select these points that we have right over here so until and unless i get this icon of um this arrow icon that i have I can move my text just like so and place it you know properly so i can move this one just try to position it properly okay and then you can type in the text that you want so i can double click and you know select this delete it and add in my own text 
so quality fabrics and garments there we go let's bring down the size a bit more and increase the spacing to around 250 and you can again move this okay so you can see this is looking pretty nice so now i'm going to add the second text at the bottom so i can hit ctrl c ctrl f then i'm going to select this point and let's move this just like oh like that i can just and now to move this to the top i can select this line and let's just snap in just like so perfect and then you can type in your second text there we go there we have added a second text and finally the third text i'm going to hit ctrl c ctrl f let's bring that down and for the color i'll go with a nice orange color that i have there we go now i can move this and just align this properly so basically i'm just eyeballing this you can just take your time and there we are good to go now the final thing that i'm going to do is add a nice shadow to our design so i'm going to select the circle hold alt and drag this out just like so and i'm going to use this as a shadow so let's hit ctrl shift and open square bracket to put this at the back make sure it's on the top of our background and then switch to gradient just like that set this to a radial gradient and i'm going to just select this one let's double click make this white color I'm going to double click to open up the first color and let's add a nice brown shade to this and then let's go into windows and let's pull up our transparency panel and let's set the transfer mode from normal to multiply so we get this really nice look we narrow down the brown a bit just like so and then I can just place this and then I can just adjust this basically we can also select the gradient tool and you know just try to make this proper maybe something like let's increase the shape a little bit there we go there we have added a nice shadow to our design and as you can see it's looking very very nice so so yep that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this illustrated tutorial after a very long time I really enjoyed it making this for you guys so if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out